I've lectured on how to start translation. I've lectured how to elongate, keep translation going. Now we're going to talk about how to stop it. Turns out that as long as the ribosome can keep moving, all right, it doesn't pause because if it pauses, it slips off and then you get a premature termination of translation. But as long as the ribosome keeps moving, codon by codon, that polypeptide keeps growing, keeps increasing in length, that ribosome will go to the end of the messenger RNA until it falls off. Well, turns out the gene doesn't always go to the end of the messenger RNA, especially if we're talking eukaryotic messenger RNA, because remember there's going to be the poly A tail, which is gobbledygook, it does not code for any part of the protein, any part of the polypeptide. So, we have evolved to have three nonsense codons. Three nonsense codons that do not code, do not call for any of the amino acids. What they do call for is a release factor. When the release factor enters the A site, remember EPA, exit, polypeptide, arrival. When the release factor enters into the A site and interacts, because it's got the correct anticodon for the stop codon that is there, it will cause the ribosome to stop. Remember, a stopped ribosome falls off. The large subunit disassociates from the small subunit and the polypeptide will be released. <coughs> now, the stop codons, UAG, UAA, UGA, do not call for any amino acid. What they do call for is that release factor. The release factor will halt the movement of the ribosome. Halted ribosome falls off, triggers the release of the polypeptide, and then the two subunits just no longer want to interact. Translation terminated. We've talked about how to start it, how to keep it going, and now we've talked about how to stop it. Now, is this all there is when it comes to termination of translation? No. There's more than just the release factor. There's more going on with secondary structures of the messenger RNA and things like that. But we're not going to worry about those for this course. Again, that is things that you will discuss in your senior level genetics course with Dr. Albee.